Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to another Truck and Stuff Thursday. And this week we got some mini GT trucks which they don't make very many of. And I uh, thought I'd get out a couple green light and show them too. So I uh, don't have no direct comparison with green light for this. Uh, there is another company out there, a Chinese company that uh, makes something like this. Uh, of course, there's uh, Tamika Limited Vintage that has uh, a casting similar to this. And, uh, man, I wish I could think of the car company that makes these like to say like para or something or small I, uh, something but absolutely amazing truck i showed the unboxing of this in a mini gt video that got downloaded either before or after this one but i thought this was worth worth showing again just because it's such a amazing vehicle so well done and i do believe these are gonna be hard to get in the future mirrors are rubber on these so you shouldn't have to worry about dropping it and breaking one off Although you don't want to drop this to begin with. The back part does move and tilt. And it slides and tilts very, very nicely. Like, it is so, so smooth. I've never felt a 164th where the moving feature was that smooth on it. Get lensed headlights and there's lens tail lights underneath the rear bumper. And the other two mini GT trucks I have are so large, they're not going to fit in the camera or on the turntable. So, I'm just going to show it. But... We have a car hauler. And I tried to only put many GTs on it. But as you can see, the two in the middle, this is a Hot Wheels. And that and that are both Johnny Lightnings. So this is all the mini GT golf releases I have. It's going to be these two. And then this one. Mini GT has to have more golf releases than that. Because that's only three plus a truck is four. Which I predict this truck is going to be pretty impossible to find now i do have two other mini gt semi trucks let me grab them they're both the cargo carriers and then i'll show a green light after that
and now this one's in three separate pieces so I can actually show each piece I guess individually so the first one and this is a heaviest piece of die cast I have in my collection this thing is all die cast metal all four, five, six sides of it, plus the doors open in the back. I mean, this thing is huge. Really, really freaking awesome. And then the truck... The detail on the truck is absolutely insane. You have the hoses in the back, which are flexible hoses, lens tail lights and headlights. These mirrors are actually hard. They are not the soft rubber mirror like uh, their cars have. So these actually have the hard mirrors. I was going to show the Liberty Walk one too, but it's just like this one, so I'm not going to show it. I'll show a green light next, because green light also has a bunch of big semis. So the trailer is metal and extremely detailed. I mean, you even got the airbags for their, uh, either their ride or their brakes. I think those ones are for their brakes. A real spare tire, which is just like the ones on the trailer. So there isn't really nothing plastic besides this stuff here is plastic everything else feels like it could be metal that the tank I think is plastic everything else is like die cast metal I mean overall this, this entire thing because this is all die cast metal look how detailed the chassis are and these are not cheap new but for everything you're getting as heavy and large as they are I think they're well worth it I don't know if it's like LMC models or something make semis and a lot of people collect them. I would love to have one in the collection one day, but I do not. But them things are absolutely ridiculous. Not really. I mean, for what they are, I've seen them go as low as 75 bucks just for the truck. Some of the trailers can go for 150 bucks just for the trailer. But on average, the trucks are between $100 and $200. And I would love to have one in the collection someday. Because they make a lot of stuff like Peterbilt and uh, Kenworth and the old cab overs. And uh, a bunch of cool stuff. I would love to have one of them in the collection someday. Now let me grab a couple of my uh, big green light trucks. Let's start out with the garbage truck, which absolutely love it. 
Now, of course, the whole back part is all plastic. The front part's die cast metal, though. And this thing, wait. For the right release of it, because they originally released it in uh, white. I think it was all white, and I didn't care for it. Then they might have released in this color scheme without the waste management on the side. Uh, they released it a couple times, and uh, I really wanted uh, a variation like this. With an actual trash company sponsored on the side. So I was really happy when they finally released it like this. I pre-ordered it. And then... Uh, oh, it took seven or eight months before I got it. Maybe even longer. Like, uh, I'm not going to pre-order Diecast anymore. I've I had really bad luck pre-ordering it last year and the year before a bunch of my pre-orders just because of COVID and shipping and everything else I just I never got them never got refunded never got them never heard from the people like uh it was funny because I heard from the people a couple times saying that they uh the post offices weren't open or they were having trouble shipping and then yeah, I just never heard from them again, and so, I don't know, I just, and this one was pre-ordered from 3,000 Toys, but I've had issues pre-ordering through 3,000 Toys before, so I try to only order stuff that they have in stock, uh, you can see the forks move up, but this is all plastic, it, it feels pretty cheap, like it would, like it wouldn't be hard at all to break. If a little kid ever got their hands on it, it wouldn't last long. Uh, it doesn't seem like they hinged, hinged this so it could actually move and tilt, which I think they should have. They hinged this up here, but this, this feels stationary. I feel like I'm going to break it if I try to move it. I thought the back opened up like a real garbage truck, but it doesn't. I don't know if garbage trucks tilt up or not, but yeah, they could have did better, I think. But for the price point, you can't beat it. Because this is $15. And this is $85. So they, that's a big difference. So for $15, can't beat it. I can't complain. They even got decals on the mud flaps. Metal base screwed together. The cab's metal. Awesome detail on the cab. You can't see all the stuff behind it, but man, it looks like some pretty good detail behind there. We don't get lens headlights or tail lights. Next one. Is one, uh, I absolutely love this casting. Uh, it's been out since I've been collecting green light. I think, or it came out shortly after I started collecting green light. Uh, the first variation of it, it's plain. And uh, I just had to get the green machine of it. I didn't dig it out, but you might be able to see it back in there. Right there. Is a green machine variation of it, but uh, somewhere in there. But for a long time, it was the largest green body green machine I had in my collection. Absolutely loved it, got a hell of a deal on it when it first came out. Got it for like 15 20 bucks. You can still pick them up pretty cheap. This was released in a green body green machine variation a few times. I love how like the tailgate works on this. How it goes up and down. Absolutely loved how this variation. How it like, looks like a real county vehicle or something. Kind of beat up. Not, it's not like 
they didn't do like a dirty paint scheme on it or nothing. But would it look cool if they did? Probably be pretty cool to send one of these out to like heavy metal and have them weather it for me. That'd be really awesome. Because this one would look really awesome weathered. But anyways... My memory card's about used up on my phone. I gotta go through my memory. So, that's all I got to show you this week. Some really awesome, really large trucks this week. But, absolutely love this new one from Mini GT. So, if you can, I recommend picking it up. Because I don't think it will last long. And I sure hope they come out with that in the Gulf. Because if they come out with it in the Gulf, you know it's going to be a huge hit. And these Gulf ones, uh, I pre-ordered them for, I think they were like 89 bucks when they came out. And uh, they instantly went up to like $200. So I don't even know if you can find either of these, especially the car haulers. I think the car hauler pretty much sold out in pre-order. I think any of them that ever made it to... Uh, uh ebay was instantly like 200 bucks or more people ask absolutely crazy money for these uh doesn't seem to matter what paint scheme it is but uh really the golf ones i knew were gonna sell out quick but both of these you probably can still find pretty easily from green light let me know which one's your favorite let me know if you guys collect any of these big semis or if any of you out there collect the expensive premium semi brands. Uh, let me know the names of them and stuff. But thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.